Hi, I'm Dr. Preston Perry, and I'm talking about how do you test the fallopian tubes. Now, there are a lot of ways to go about it, and this is one of the most important questions for many women with fertility because we see blocked tubes as one of the top reasons women who want to get pregnant can't. And uh, the reason that matters is if you are doing intercourse or you're doing oral medication and insemination, you can take a lot of pills, you can put a lot of sperm in the uterus, but if the tubes are blocked, it's not as likely that the sperm and egg will actually meet and result in a pregnancy. So for how you test it, classically people did HSG, study or approach that was invented in 1911 and hasn't exactly evolved a ton since then. And in fact, some people say it's the most painful test in gynecology because you're using x-ray dyes that uh, end up uh, just trying to blow open the tubes and th that can be fairly uncomfortable. I think it can get answers for some women, but I think you know when you look at the pain, when you look at the tubal spasm, you can look at people passing out or having allergic reactions. I think there are ways of doing things better, but again, it will often get an answer as to whether a tube is open or closed. However, if you have high pressure, and there's pain, that can lead to spasm, and it says it's closed when it's open. Or you can be blowing open the tube, and sperm don't swim with the jaws of life. They can't prop open a closed tube, and you see high pressure patency actually showing to have lower pregnancy rates than when the tubes are naturally or more readily open. Now, the alternative to HSG for looking at the tubes is sonosalpingography, or actually one of the alternatives. The, you can um, use air-infused saline and you can do it in the office instead of radiology. However, the challenge with it is it often hurts as much as HSG. And by the way, people say, hey, I don't do a painful HSG. There are all these docs who say they don't do painful HSG or sonosalpingography. You know, you got to wonder where all these people complaining of pain come from. There must be one doctor out there who's doing all these painful HSGs and saline infusion sonographies. Um, until that doctor can be found and stopped, we have to be suspicious that maybe some docs don't realize how uncomfortable their procedures are. So that's a whole separate issue for things. Um, sometimes sonosalpingography can only do one side. A lot of doctors don't know how to do it well. And actually it can take even a few hundred procedures before you have very good skills in it. So that, that's something to be mindful of. Now, other tests that people have done are chlamydia antibody testing. To do that screen, you're looking in the blood as to whether a person has ever been exposed to chlamydia. And that's the number one reason that women might have tubal damage and not know about it. Because often for endometriosis or ruptured appendicitis, people knew they, they've had chronic pelvic pain or they ruptured their appendix. However, um, the problem with that is that it's indirect and it doesn't tell you whether the tubes are open. It just tells you whether there's risk for it. Laparoscopy has been the gold standard, but that's a $10,000 surgery, $2,000 deductible incisions, anesthesia, and a week recovery for many people. Um, that's usually not a frontline thing, and it's if you see something specific. Now, the thing that we often do is called the periscope technique where we do a blend of ultrasound with office hysteroscopy. We are doing them sequentially, but we use the fiber optic camera, small enough to go in the male bladder in the office without anesthesia in most cases. And I always say, if it can go in the guy's anatomy, most women can handle it pretty well. And then we add some air bubbles while we're looking inside the uterus. And it not only picks up a lot for whether the tubes are open or closed, but at the same time, um, it can tell a lot about inner uterine disease um, that many people miss. And it's amazing how much people aren't aware of because they never looked. That can often be done more gently, and our own data shows it's much more gentle than uh, doing an HSG. Um, but I would also say there are people with their own individual circumstances, and for all of these things, if you have a very closed cervix that can make it harder. If you have stage four endometriosis or you have chronic pelvic pain or you have other underlying medical conditions, most approaches can be harder. And so you have to say, how do you find the right thing for the right person? And talk with me, talk with your clinician, um, find out what's right for you because that's critical. Uh, ask questions away on here. We're happy to answer them and subscribe, follow us. We can always look forward to providing as much information as we can for these informational sessions. Have a great day.